In this video, I will show you how to crop an image in Photopea. If you do have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial, feel free to drop that down in the comment section down below the video. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see on photopea.com. So this is the image that I'm going to be cropping. So what I'm gonna do is just make this a little bit smaller and put this in the middle of the page. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is come over to the right hand side and you want to make sure you've got your layer selected from here so basically the image that you want to crop so you want to make sure you clicked onto it so you can see we've clicked onto our logo so that's one we've selected once you've done that come over to the toolbar on the left hand side and you want to go ahead and look for the cropping tool which is just up here what you need to do is right click onto the crop tool and then go ahead and select crop tool from here so what you can now do is go ahead and use these squares in the corners and and the sides of this design and what you can do is basically drag these to where you want to crop your image so what i'm going to do is just drag the borders in just so we got a smaller border and that's the image gets cropped what i'm going to do is just crop out some of the pictures just so you can see that a bit more clearly so what i'm going to do is just crop this section here and what you're going to want to do is come up to the very top and you're going to see the little tick up here just go ahead and press this tick which says confirm and as you can see we have now gone ahead and cropped our image so that's how to go ahead and crop an image in photo p with that being said i hope this quick tutorial did help you out today and if this did help you out i would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel with that being said i just want to take a minute thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and i will see you in the next video